Hello everyone and welcome back. In the previous session, we have studied about the GPRs, that is the general purpose registers, and the accumulator. In this session, from the registers of 8085 microprocessor, we are going to learn about the index register, or to be precise, the concept of the index register. So without any further ado, let's get to learning. Coming to the topics that we are going to cover in this session, at first, we'll understand the concept of index. Thereafter, we will learn about the implementation of indexing in 8085 microprocessor. So let's begin with the concept of index. Now coming to the word index, it is of Latin origin, which means pointer or indicator. Now in the context of books, the index section is usually found at the end containing an alphabetical list of items, topics and names mentioned in the book along with the page numbers where they can be found. Consider this index from a microprocessor and microcontroller book. As you can see, it is an alphabetical list of topics where it has different items in it. And alongside all the different items, the page numbers are associated. And due to this reason, it serves as a helpful reference for readers, allowing them to quickly locate a particular topic within the book. Let me walk you through another illustration for better understanding. You probably all have heard about arrays. Consider this array, which has the name A. Now in this particular array, we have got five different cells. Suppose the elements within these cells are 10, 20, 30, 40, and 50. Basically, these are integers. Now an array is supposed to be a list of similar or homogeneous items. That is, all the elements within the array should be of the same type. And that's the meaning of homogeneous. In the context of arrays, an index refers to the numerical position of an element within the array. It's basically an integer that starts at 0 for the first element and increases by 1 for the each subsequent element. Here the index allows us to access and reference the elements in the array efficiently. For example, the element 10 within the array A can be accessed if we go to the cell A0. Similarly, going to the cell A1, we will be able to access the element 20. Similarly, if we want to access the rest of the elements within the array, the respective indices will help us. Let me now show you a program code of the C programming language, which is going to enable us to access the different elements of this array. Consider this code segment. As you can see, we have got a for loop. Here, we are initializing the variable i, which is actually meant for the index, and that's why we are naming it as i, and it is being initialized to the value 0. Now, why 0? because the first cell of the array is having the index as 0. Focus on the condition part now. i, that is the index, should be less than or equals to 4. Now why 4? Notice, we want this code to run for all the cells of the array A. And in the final part of the for loop, we are performing i++. That is, we are going to increment the value of i one at a time. Let's now get inside the loop. We have got printf, that is the printing function of C programming language. Thereafter, we are trying to print the integer value or the decimal value within the cell. And how the cell is defined? A, within the brackets, we have i. That is, the variable which is responsible for the indices. So with the help of this, we will be able to access, or I would rather say print, all the elements within this array. So this is how using the concept of index, we can access the elements of an array. I hope you are clear with the concept. Remember, index is nothing but a number which we assign to a particular cell or a particular item. And the purpose of that assignment is, we are willing to access all those elements with the help of the indices. So that's the concept of index. Let's now learn about the implementation of indexing in 8085. 
Now coming to the microprocessor 8085, honestly speaking, it doesn't have a dedicated index register. Whereas, its contemporaries like Motorola 6800 has its own index register. But worry not, we can still implement indexing in 8085. And that can be done with the help of the register pair HL. With this, we can implement the concept of index register. Let me show you that with the help of a program code where I'll try to replicate this concept. Now for this, we will need the programmer's view of 8085, that is, all these registers. Now let's assume within the memory from the location 003C onwards, we have the data 10, 20, 30 and 40. Say our intention is to bring all these data one by one in the registers A, B, C and D. Let me show you how it will be done. If you notice, the address of the initial element that is 10 in the memory is 003C. Therefore, within the register pair HL, we are going to store this address. So in H, we will have 00 and in L, we will have 3C, the higher order byte and the lower order byte. Now with this content within the HL pair, the microprocessor will be pointing to this particular address within the memory. Now focus on this piece of code. We have got seven instructions in here and we will run them consecutively. Focus on the first instruction. Here we are trying to perform MOV A comma M. Now in the previous session we have seen we can refer to the content within the memory location which is pointed by the HL register pair with the symbol M. Now if we execute this instruction the content within that memory location, which is now 003C, that is 10, is supposed to be moved to the register A. So, when this is executed, within the accumulator register, we are going to have the element 10. Focus on the next statement. It is INX8. Now, the mnemonic INX means increment the register pair, and which register pair we are talking about? 8. That is, the entire HL register pair. Now, if we increment this entire value, what will be the content inside the HL register pair? It is a hexadecimal value, so it is going to be 003D, right? Now, since within the HL register pair, we have got the value 003D, therefore, the microprocessor will now point to the next address, that is 003D of the memory location. And within this, we have got the data 20. Let's focus on the next instruction, MOVB, M. That is, the content within this memory location will now be moved to the general purpose register B. So clearly, 20 will now be moved inside B. Focus on the next instruction. Again, we are incrementing the value of the entire register pair age. So now the content within the HL register pair is going to be 003E. With this, now the next address in line that is 003E will be pointed by the microprocessor. And within this location, we have got the data 30. So if we execute the next instruction, that is the instruction number 5, the content within this memory location will now be moved in the general purpose register C. So 3.0 will be moved to the general purpose register C. Now in the next instruction, that is instruction number 6, we are performing INXH. That is, the register pair HL is going to be incremented. So if we increment that, the content within the HL register pair is going to be 003F. And with this, now the microprocessor will point to this particular address. Now, if we execute the last instruction, MOVD, M, the content within the memory location 003F, that is 40, will then be moved into the general purpose register D. So, this is how, with the help of the HL register pair, we can implement the concept of indexing in H085 microprocessor as well. So, clearly, 
Although we don't have a dedicated index register in 8085, we can still perform the implementation of indexing in this microprocessor. So in this session, we covered the topics, the concept of index, and then we learned about the implementation of indexing in the 8085 microprocessor. All right, people, that will be all for this session. In the next session, we are going to learn about the flag or the status register. So I hope to see you in the next one. Thank you all for watching.